experienced change in climate uh, we have discussed already and there are two causes responsible and uh, when we have discussed about climate change uh, we have learnt about the long lived gases and the short lived gases which can also be referred as the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and how are they responsible for inducing a change in the climate and these long lived gases as well as short lived gases are also called as climate forces as they are forcing the climate to have a change to bring up a change as they are forcing externally so they are called as climate forces now let us discuss what are the human causes which are responsible for inducing a change in the climate then what are the natural causes natural causes are something like natural uh, they are not artificial they are not induced by uh, any other sources sahaja vaina to anti human causes these are exclusively induced by human beings uh, we refer them these causes as human induced climate forces now uh, i think you people can summarize what are the human causes cau ses can you anyone it's very easy simply we can uh, start with human causes good morning ma'am uh, ah good morning ma'am good morning climate change can also be caused by human activities such as now i want you to continue it's very easy already we have discussed all the points under human causes pollution ma'am hmm pollution nitesh pollution ma'am pollution pollution okay and what is uh, pollution uh, disturbance in the uh, uh, environment hmm. which pollution is mostly responsible to induce a change in the climate air pollution ma'am air pollution okay precise ma'am and uh, are there any other sources which can induce a change in the climate other than the emission of uh, uh, car- carbon compounds into the atmosphere usage of plastic ma'am usage of plastic plastic so still usage of the materials which redu- uh, which uh, emit chlorofluorocarbons to into the atmosphere they are also going to deplete the ozone layer and finally we are going to experience a change in the climate why because they are not going to interrupt the uv radiation emitting from the sun if there is a hole in the ozone layer or if there is any gap in the ozone layer so directly uv rays enters the earth surface and finally solar uh, we also suffer from solar irradiance a more amount of uh, sun's radiation will be reaching the earth surface and uh, as we people convert uh, the forest land into uh, the land of agriculture and uh, since the beginning of industrial revolution a lot of carbon emissions have been see when you convert forest land into uh, land for agriculture what happens it also causes the concentration of greenhouse gases the enhancement of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere especially carbon dioxide is there any relationship burning of fossil fuels okay they are going to emit obviously carbon compounds into the environment if you convert forest land into agricultural land uh, is it possible uh, this uh, particular problem will enhance the concentration of carbon dioxide in the environment is there any relationship yes, between that yes, how ma'am when we cut the forest the, the whatever the trees are there they, the the amount of forestation will be decreased due to which the heavy pollution uh, there will be impact on the 
impact ma'am in the environment impact on carbon See, dioxide same, levels yes. ma'am uh, carbon dioxide levels if there are plants and trees more number of plants and trees are simply we can say if the forest cover is good then uh, much amount of uh, co2 will be absorbed by the plants and they give out oxygen thus co2 uh, balance will be set up if you reduce the forest cover and uh, simply decreasing the number of plants and trees available which absorbs co2 then that particular co2 will get accumulated in the environment only and obviously we can experience high levels of co2 if there is high rise in levels then uh, more amount of energy will be trapped by it and it will be radiated re radiated back to the earth surface and this is the problem if you convert forest land into agricultural land again uh, concentration of greenhouse gases especially carbon dioxide will be increased industrial revolution and because of industries much uh, carbon emissions will be liberated into the environment and uh, if you burn fossil fuels then more amount of carbon dioxide will be liberated into the environment these three are human induced no one is cutting or no one is reducing the forest cover we people are converting forest lands into agriculture lands forest lands in order for uh, you know to uh, like uh, make the roads and construct buildings and uh, do agriculture much of the forest cover has been decreased for a temporary benefits we are uh, just creating problems uh, in the like for the future generations so because of these three human used activities change in the climate we can experience and this uh, the level of uh, uh, greenhouse gases in the atmosphere will also influence both the incoming and the outgoing energy and the, the, here is also there is direct relationship what is incoming and what is outgoing energy ikkada meek energy anagane edi gurtuku raavali ikkada energy ever is that energy in the form of uh light and heat sun ma'am sun a uh, sun nunchi vache energy lo a uh, balance lo uh, disturbance vachestundi a uh, incoming energy outgoing energy uh, set up chese balance lo disturbance vachestundi eppudaithe greenhouse gases yokka concentration constant ga untundo energy balance will be set up if there is no a uh, constant like the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere then there will be a change in the energy balance also thus the energy balance will be altered and more amount of heat we are going to experience and uh, so called global warming we are going to suffer from as already we are we have been suffering with that problem and uh, this build up of green gases into the atmosphere has led to the en enhancement of the natural greenhouse effect it is completely human induced and uh, it is the major problem of concern nowadays because ongoing emissions have the potential to warm the planet to levels that we have never experienced before and if we suffer from global warming may we are going to suffer from many health issues it is going to alter the metabolism physiological metabolism in both plants and animals too not only the human beings we suffer even the plants and animals suffer as it is human beings uh, it is human induced climatic climate change and if it is ongoing this problem if this problem is still continuing if it continues in the same way and we are going to experience very high rise in temperatures that we have never experienced before now a small change in the temperature globally we have been experienced that we could uh, uh, experience it also uh, the summers are have become even more hot and uh, there are warm winters too and that is the reason why if this problem continues then we are going to suffer a lot with high rise in temperatures and if we cannot even predict the future social economic and uh, political uh, consequences to if there is high rise in temperatures is there any relationship between uh, global warming and uh, environmental social and economic consequences
does it have does it have any impact on the economic life of the people if there is high rise in temperatures if you yes, suffer ma'am. if we suffer from global warming does it cause does it alter our life socially politically and economically are there any chances in that way yes ma'am medical expenses will grow what nitesh medical expenses like uh, people suffer with many uh, diseases like that our uh, social life get disturbed hmm. economic economically how are we going to suffer with as discussed this food cannot be produced ma'am skin allergies hmm how are we going to suffer economically ma'am there will be no uh, proper sure, uh, crop production ma'am due to which there will be uh, no hmm. field work only uh, on computers and internet people can work but no field work can happen no field work is possible and it is going to have a greater impact on the agriculture work too if it is not successful then our economic life is also going to be altered what did you tell prashanti come up once again shortage of food ma'am i was i was about to say shortage of food. shortage of food if there is no proper agricultural output because of global warming because of high rise in temperatures if there is high rise in temperatures the consequences of global warming we have already discussed depending upon the geographical location we may suffer from floods droughts and so on as it is going to have direct impact on the agricultural output we are also going to suffer from the shortage of food and there are natural causes for it to discuss human causes are especially burning of fossil fuels and uh, what is the other one conversion of forest land into agricultural land if you reduce the forest to cover the number of plants and trees available which absorb co2 will be reduced and in the absence of uh, the uh, good level of forest cover accumulation of co2 will be enhanced in the environment and that is also one reason these are all human induced they are not natural here human beings are completely responsible for exp- uh, like uh, uh having a uh, developing a change in from for bringing up a change in the climate and because of industrial revolution too and this is also a possible source to enhance the level of carbon compounds into the environment burning of fossil fuels and what is the other one conversion of forest land into agricultural land and industrial revolution these three are human induced activities next we have to discuss about natural causes and i know to uh, look into natural causes there are two factors which are very much responsible for inducing a change in the climate naturally one is volcanic eruption now social science students have to tell me what is volcanic eruption one is volcanic eruption next second is solar irradiance I'll tell you what is solar irradiance. Now you have to tell me what is volcanic eruptions. These are natural. These are not human induced. Sahajanga jaragi tattoo ante vi. E causes dwara koda change in climate madam experience chesta. In the kamundu a manushula dwara chee badindi. Ipuru these are completely these two factors are completely natural. here human beings does not have role to play with one is volcanic eruption second is solar irradiance what is volcanic eruption volcanoes due are lava due to the uh, disruption in the uh, soil erosion uh, speak aloud uh, sangamitra due to the soil erosion ma'am soil erosion valla volcano volcanic eruption create avutundi madam 
soil erosion vallam yes ma'am and uh, the what happens during lava and other gases are from the magma and other gases are discharged lava hmm yes sir lava and other yeah emitted out of the volcanic vent ma'am it is uh, a rupture on the earth crust is it not so we have yes, three layers a uh, crust mantle and core there is a rupture on the earth crust and because of uh, many chemical reactions in the deeper layers of the earth we can visualize a rupture on the earth crust and from that many hot like uh, many chemicals are going to be liberated out and uh, from that hot lava flows and uh, because of this hot lava and other uh, chemicals liberated into the environment what happens surface temperatures will be enhanced this is one uh, source of increasing temperatures uh, increasing temperature is nothing but change in climate conditions we can uh, uh, confer uh, infer that and the second is solar irradiance what is solar irradiance What is solar irradiance? Did you hear any time? What is solar radiation? Ma'am, radiation. What is solar radiation? What is solar output? What is sunlight? These are all one and the same. There is a distinction between solar radiation and solar irradiance. Solar radiation is nothing but the radiation from the sun, or the energy from the sun, or the light from the sun. Simply, we call it as sunlight solar irradiation is nothing but power per unit area on the earth surface it is the power absorbed by the unit area on the earth surface it is measured in watts per square meter there is a change in uh, solar radiation to if the concentration of other gases or uh, if there is any disturbance uh, between the incoming and outgoing energy the amount of solar irradiance is also going to be enhanced if solar irradiance increases then the power per uh, uh, square meter if the absorption of power per square meter increases then we are going to experience rise in temperatures climate is like weather on that particular day is going to become hot and if you see the weather patterns over a period of time then we can experience uh good rise in temperatures these two are bit natural human beings have not much role to play with these two factors human causes as well as natural causes then we have the other topic called mitigation and adaptation and effects on animals plants etc and humans what is mitigation and what is action we have to learn ekkada ina vinnara meeru vine untar you know what is adaptation only uh, forget about the environmental uh, changes or uh, global warming or climate change now simply you just tell me what is adaptation adaptation is getting used to the things ma'am yes, yes. now already has been suffering from global warming now we have to adjust ourselves to the existing situation these are nothing but the adaptation strategies whatever the strategy we employ those comes under adaptation strategies we have to uh, uh, live with the existing situations now we are dealing with the consequences we are not dealing with the causes we are already cause has been happened the consequence also has been uh, happened now we are dealing with a consequence and adjusting ourselves to deal with existing situations is nothing but adaptation those strategies whatever the strategies we employ those all come under adaptation strategies now you tell me what is mitigation 
it is completely contradictory. Reducing the problem of severity, like mm. we have to not only reduce, you have to stop the future occurrence. Now we are discussing about global warming. Now you have to uh, uh, like uh, follow the strategies, implement the strategies to stop the future warming of the earth the uh, such strategies are called as mitigation strategies stop the future events nothing but mitigation like uh, dealing with the current situations it is nothing but adaptation uh, let us look into the definition of adaptation adaptation involves developing ways to protect the people and places by reducing their vul vulnerability to climate impacts for example relocating the buildings to higher floor. When we do this, we are developing so we are discussing about adaptation and adaptation is nothing but we are developing few ways in order to protect the people as well as places by reducing their vulnerability to climate impacts. What is vulnerability? Vulnerable groups could in discuss Those who suffer, ma'am, those who fall into that category, ma'am. Like risk, risk groups. Yes, probable, ma'am. Probable. probable risk. Yeah, probable, ma'am. Risk, risk. Risk, risk. Okay, ma'am. And those who yeah. fall prey for the that situation. Uh, those who fall prey for the uh, situations which are very problematic in nature. Uh, our degree of uh, uh, riskiness we are developing few ways in order to protect the people as well as places. For example, if you relocate the buildings to higher ground, then it is nothing but adaptation strategy. Like uh, building sea walls also, it is nothing but adaptation strategy. Uh, if there is an, a biological outbreak, whatever the strategy you follow or implement, like lockdown is nothing but adaptation strategy. Whatever the lockdown we are implementing now, uh, whether it may be a night curfew or complete lockdown, does it come under mitigation or adaptation strategy? Uh, let us let us discuss about the current uh, situation in order to understand what is adapt, what is mitigation. If you take uh, COVID-19 COVID or uh, uh, coronavirus, what is adaptation strategy uh, we are following? Madam, we are wearing masks and carrying sanitation is the adaptation. And mitigation mm. is uh, conducting, uh, uh, what you say, zones and uh, curfews, mm. lockdowns is mitigation. And vaccination is the mitigation uh, strategy, ma'am. Mitigation is to stop the future occurrence. Uh, that Inka, means vaccination. In the future, lo rakunda onda dani ki uh, vaccination comes under mitigation strategy. Uh, stop the future occurrence. Uh, wearing masks also comes under. Adi mali rakunda onda dani ki. Ada uchin tarvata uh, consequence ni face che dani ki manam idhete adapt to chase to namo abhi adaptation strategies to protect the people. If you are suffering from uh, uh, COVID-19. What is adaptation strategy? We have to. What is the adaptation strategy we are following right now in order to face the consequence of this particular pandemic situation? Taking the necessary treatment, hmm. isolation, home isolation, Our quarantine measures, what are the quarantine measures we follow? These come under adaptation strategies. Future lo rakunda undadani ki follow a one mitigation and in the lockdown adaptation and no, no, it comes under mitigation. Then if future uh, occurrence ni stop chayadani ki, we re a strategy na te employ chestaro. Now uh, still we are in, uh, in the same phase too, whether to apply 
lockdown or implement lockdown or not now not night curfew has been implemented it has been implemented to stop stop the spread of this particular infection ipudu malli meer environment ki randi like global warming of the problem of global warming what is the adaptation strategy ikkada cause ayipoyindi consequence lo unnam manamu the problem we are faced with it and what is the adaptation strategy in addition to the examples given in the book just tell me few We, there are various problems we just face because of global warming like droughts and uh, uh, floods reducing the forest cover reduction in the forest cover not sufficient forest cover has been there right now and what is adaptation we can employ afforestation refor afforestation ma'am planting the trees still okay ma'am uh, reducing the uh, reducing the uh, uh, what do you say the ones that cause cfcs no. ma'am reducing the use of uh, the ones that cause cfcs Red, uh, reducing the emissions of greenhouse gases still ఇప్పుడు మీరు ఇంకా దాని ఫ్యూచర్ అకరెన్స్ రాకుండా ప్రివెంటివ్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ చెప్తున్నారు అడాప్టేషన్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ చెప్పండి అడాప్టేషన్ రిఫర్స్ టు డీలింగ్ విత్ ఇంపాక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ క్లైమేట్ చేంజ్ మిటిగేషన్ మీన్స్ డీలింగ్ విత్ ద కాసెస్ ఆఫ్ క్లైమేట్ చేంజ్ బై రెడ్యూసింగ్ ఎమిషన్స్ వాట్ ఎవర్ the point you said prashanti it comes under mitigation strategy mere emissions ni reduce chestunnaru and future occurrence ni prevent chestunnaru ippudu manam consequence tho deal chestunnamo when we are dealing with the consequences of this particular problem we follow adaptation strategies ippudu edaina government policy teesukochindi it comes under adaptation strategy these adaptation strategies uh, we can uh, refer from uh, individual to local uh, to national to global and uh, we can uh, highlight the nature of human beings too and the behavior of human beings too that need to be changed as a part of their adaptation they have to get adjust but there are many people who will uh, who are not willing to change their behavior but we have to as we have to got to adjust with the environment and environmental conditions we need to adapt ourselves but there are many technical technological and financial uh, drawbacks where we cannot adapt completely but we have to uh, just we have to be willing to adjust to the current situations now let us uh, talk about mitigation it involves attempts to slow the process of global climate change usually by lowering the level of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere like planting trees that absorb co2 from the air and store it is an example of one such strategy for mitigation discuss chesin tarvata i think you will come up with more examples with reference to adaptation ikkada co2 emissions ne reduce cheyadam oka strategy mara oka example cheppandi how can you reduce the emissions into the atmosphere then future occurrence ni meeru prevent chestunnaru you are trying to stop it you are dealing with the cause not the consequence edaithe cause undo human induced cause undo దాంతో మీరు డీల్ చేస్తున్నారు యు ఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు స్టాప్ యు ఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ ట్రైంగ్ టు ప్రివెంట్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ రెడ్యూసింగ్ సీఓ టు ఎమిషన్స్ ఇస్ వన్ సచ్ అ స్ట్రాటజీ దెన్ హౌ కెన్ యూ రెడ్యూస్ సీఓ టు ఎమిషన్స్ ఇన్ టు ద ఎన్వైర్మెంట్ టెల్ మీ అన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ బై యూజింగ్ హ్మ్ 
many people started using cycles ma'am instead of vehicles okay okay i'm uh, uh, making less use of automobiles which burn fossil fuels which consumes uh, like uh, petroleum products or natural gases that may be cng etc usage of such fossil fuels will reduce the emissions of co2 into the environment specifically i just asked you to tell me specifically how can you reduce the emissions of co2 into the environment is it clear here under mitigation strategy we are dealing with the causes not the consequences edaithe a factor a global warming ki responsible avutundo danto manam deal chestunnamo there is one more like burning of fossil fuels ni taggiste adi mitigation strategy avutundi there is one more human induced climate change also that is conversion of forest land to agriculture land mari as a part of mitigation strategy what can we do mere indaka chepparu answer adaptation lo chepparu afforestation ani increasing the plant cover or increasing the forest cover comes under that now uh, we are carrying out a pro- program which was launched by kcr also what is that as a part of mitigation strategy harita that comes under mitigative harita measures meeting a uh, harita haram mitigative measures taken up by the government it is a policy formulated by the government as a part of mitigative strategy in order to reduce global temperatures in order to reduce the impact of climate change in order to stop the change in climate mare haridaharam uh, if you just uh, plant trees what, what happens forest cover will be increased plant car will be increased and uh, this particular uh, emitted co2 will be absorbed so concentration of co2 will uh, be maintained constant in the environment as it is maintained constant as it is not increased in its amounts it is not going to trap the sunlight or sun's energy clear ma'am and also saying no to plastic say no to plastic see soil pollution it see when we discuss about uh, environmental degradation there are different kind we deal with different kinds of pollution all right with reference to land pollution or soil pollution we should say no to plastics now you come up with the examples for adaptation now మిటిగేషన్ అయితే చాలా క్లియర్ ఉంది నా యూ టెల్ మీ వాట్ ఆర్ ద అడాప్టేషన్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ వీ కెన్ ఇంప్లిమెంట్ పొల్యూషన్ చెక్ ఫర్ ద వెహికల్స్ మ్యామ్ ఇట్ ఆల్సో కమ్స్ అండర్ మిటిగేషన్ స్ట్రాటజీ బట్ హౌ మేడం previous it was not there no now the government has introduced uh, that uh, policy so it may uh, be adapted already said there are many technological and finan- financial limits uh, which prevent the scale of adaptation and uh, there is one more important co- point called human uh, role of uh, the behavior of hum- human beings also has a role to play with adaptation strategies and more importantly we should refer to the government policies and the measures taken up by the government in order to protect the people as well as places as a part of their adaptation strategies but one of global warming yoka consequences em unnayo meer oka sari list out cheyali if there is a drought what happens if there are floods what are the adaptations which mitigation ante malli meer ekkada veltharu reducing the emissions of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere that comes under mitigation strategy ipudu already flood vachesindi then how are you going to deal with uh, that particular problem 
కాన్సిక్వెన్స్ ఆఫ్ గ్లోబల్ వార్మింగ్ ఏంటి అంటే దేశ దెన్ హౌ విల్ యూ అడాప్ట్ టు దట్ సిచ్యువేషన్ నౌ యూ హెప్ట్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ మనం చూసాము రీలొకేటింగ్ ద బిల్డింగ్స్ టు హై గ్రౌండ్ వేర్ యూ కెనాట్ హ్యావ్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లడ్స్ సముద్ర తీర ప్రాంతాలలో ఉన్న వాళ్ళని ఏం చేయాలి చెప్పండి రీలొకేట్ చేస్తాము అది అడాప్టేషన్ స్ట్రాటజీ అవుతుంది ఈవెన్ దో దర్ ఇస్ ఇన్ఫ్రాస్ట్రక్చర్ లాస్ ఈవెన్ వీ కెన్ సేవ్ ద లైఫ్ ఆఫ్ ద పీపుల్ దట్ కమ్స్ అండర్ అడాప్టేషన్ స్ట్రాటజీ ఇక్కడ కాస్ మనం ఇవ్వడం లేదు ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఇవ్వడం లేదు Yeah, we are trying to deal with the consequence. Output is in the way, we are dealing with the output. How to live in accordance with the consequence of this particular problem we are dealing with. And in combination, we have to implement both mitigation as well as adaptation. We have to deal with the problem and the consequence of the consequence. We will never try to implement certain measures. We just try to adapt ourselves. We will never try to implement certain measures. We just try to adapt ourselves as well as we should implement certain measures. మిటిగేటివ్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ ఇప్పుడు ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ కండిషన్స్ కి ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ సిచ్యువేషన్స్ కి అడాప్ట్ అవుతూ దాని ఫ్యూచర్ అకరెన్స్ ని స్టాప్ చేయడానికి కూడా మనము కొన్ని పాలసీస్ ని లేదా గవర్నమెంట్ ఫార్మ్లేట్ చేసిన పాలసీస్ ని లైక్ ఫ్రమ్ ఇండివిజువల్ టు నేషనల్ లెవెల్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఫాలో సర్టన్ మెజర్స్ ఇన్ కాంబినేషన్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఫాలో మిటిగేటివ్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ అడాప్టివ్ స్ట్రాటజీ దెన్ ఓన్లీ వీ విల్ కమ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఎప్పుడు గ్లోబల్ వార్మింగ్ ని అలాగనే కంటిన్యూ చేస్తూ దాని యొక్క కాన్సిక్వెన్సెస్ కి తగ్గట్టుగా మనము ఎలా సర్వైవ్ అవ్వాలి అదే ఫాలో అవ్వడం కరెక్ట్ కాదు వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఫాలో అడాప్టివ్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ ఇన్ అడిషన్ టు దట్ వీ నీడ్ టు ట్రై టు స్టాప్ ఇట్స్ ఫ్యూచర్ అకరెన్స్ టు డూ యూ అగ్రీ విత్ మీ ఎస్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇఫ్ యూ టేక్ డ్రాన్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ అడాప్టేషన్ కెన్ వీ ఫాలో గ్లోబల్ వార్మింగ్ యొక్క ఇంపాక్ట్ ఫ్లడ్స్ అలా గ్లోబల్ వార్మింగ్ యొక్క ఇంపాక్ట్ డ్రాట్స్ కూడా గ్లోబల్ వార్మింగ్ యొక్క ఇంపాక్ట్ యూ టెల్ మీ వాట్ ఈస్ అడాప్టివ్ అడాప్టివ్ స్ట్రాటజీ వీ కెన్ ఇంప్లిమెంట్ ప్రతి కాన్సిక్వెన్స్ కి సొల్యూషన్ మీరు బుక్ లో దొరకదు యూ హ్యావ్ టు టెల్ మీ డ్రాట్ అడాప్ట్ ఆర్ సెల్ఫ్ we should uh, provide food for them and we should supply the water food hmm ah ipudu elagaithe mana government is doing chudandi ah provide water water food and uh, food also we can supply ma'am hmm. and even if Those they need have, any they have uh, to share yeah Uh, the government need to take the responsibility for the welfare of it welfare of the people in its state or in its district or in its nation this comes under adaptive strategies mari ila itvandi measures ni implement chestu itvandi provisions ni public ki isthu dani future occurrence ni stop cheyadaniki mana mitigation strategies ni implement cheyali again there are uh, uh, two ways to stop increasing the amount of greenhouse gases the problem ochin tarvata even government will help even the public will help there are many like kind hearted people who help other people too this keep it aside uh, the pro, uh, like a concept of adaptation we have to concentrate majorly on mitigative strategies as we all know prevention is better than cure after suffering with it dealing is not a big deal and before the occurrence of that particular problem we have to focus and we have to uh, give much stress on the concept of mitigation as a part of mitigative strategies there are two ways of uh, stopping the amount of or reducing the amount of greenhouse gases into the environment one is just simply you have to stop putting so many greenhouse gases into the environment and other is you have to invent ways to get greenhouse gases out of the atmosphere 
and how many ways there are two ways as a part of mitigative strategy one is you have to stop putting many greenhouse gases into the environment other is you have to invent or come up with new ways to get greenhouse gases out of the atmosphere what is that and you have to tell me examples for this how can we stop putting many greenhouse gases into the atmosphere see we have this uh, when we burn fossil fuels along co2 even so2 also will be liberated when nitrogen compounds will be liberated how can we stop putting so many gases into the atmosphere in that our pollution check what happens after pollution check pollution get reduced ma'am if we do pollution ah oh. uh, uh, efficiency unnatvadi engines unnatvadi automobiles ee maatrame permission ivvali even now a rule has come that after 15 years they, are, they should need to be put into scrap and go for a new vehicle why they are going to create much pollution we have to find ways how can we stop to put greenhouse gases into the atmosphere this is one and the other way is you have to come up with new ways to how to uh, make the greenhouse gases get out of the atmosphere and now you have to tell me example for this in that mere automobiles ni ekko pollution ichi automobiles ni use cheyakunda undadamu car pulling bike pulling cheyadamu and minimizing the usage of each and everything will enable us to put uh, not to put more uh, Uh, greenhouse gases ghgs into the environment and the second is you, we have to come up with many new ways uh, to make ghgs come out of the environment then how co2 will come out of the environment if it is been put in how it will come out if we use less uh, air conditioners we can reduce the how CO2. co2 is going to come out of the environment okay meaning meaning we are like if you minimize the usage of such things it is the first way and the second is you have to uh, make ghgs to come out of the environment how can you by conservation of the carbon dioxide by conservation of the forest cover ah by planting more number of trees plants etc they are going to take in carbon we people are not going to take in carbon dioxide the levels of co2 are more then if we increase the forest cover such co2 levels will be absorbed by the plants and trees these are two ways in combination we can uh, implement these two ways and uh, we can uh, uh, reduce the addition of greenhouse gases especially CO2 into the environment, and tomorrow let us discuss about effects on animals, plants, and insects. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, ma'am. Thank you.